Hi, this is Tim. Today we're going to talk about an error that you may run into if you've downloaded sample programs for Rockwell Automation's Connected Components Workbench, which is the software that's used to program the Micro 800 line of PLC, such as this Micro 820. And I also found out that my downloads were guilty of this. So I'm also going to show you how to share programs without having this problem. Please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We put at least one automation video a week. And any questions that come up, feel free to put them in the comments. Your question this week could easily be next week's automation topic. So what will happen is you'll download a zip file that includes the Micro 800 program. And when you go to open it up, it's going to say one or more projects in the solution were not loaded correctly. Please see the output window for details. And to give an example of this from start to finish, we'll actually go to the automation store and then go to support and sample PLC programs. And we're going to click on the second one here, this TRN-BAS-M820-AOI, which is the sample program that comes in your PLC when we ship your trainer. Now, if you actually mouse over this, there's no secret here. If you look down at the bottom, in the bottom left corner, you're going to see the link to it. It's actually a Google Drive file. And the reason I do this is I actually share those same files that I work with on this website. That way, if I make a change to one of them, it automatically changes it on everywhere I have that link. So it keeps me from having to do a lot of updating. But if we actually click on that file, then it's going to open up Drive, and you're going to see all the files that go along with it. And you're going to have this Download All button, and that's what you would click. And also, okay, if used to at least, when I was sharing a file, I would also zip it up, and I would email it to someone. So we click the Download All File button, and we'll click Save. And then we want to open it up. So naturally, we go right here on our downloads bar and we'll click the open. And that's going to open it up in Windows Explorer, which is super convenient. And yeah, we open it up and there is our solution file. So I double click it and I see something about, all right, it is right protected. And you'll get this typically with a zip file. So I click the save as button and we'll just click the save button. And right away, we get this error. One or more products in the solution were not loaded correctly. Please see the output window for details. So, all right, we click on it, and yeah, all right, it pops up the output window, and it says a file is missing. So immediately, I get an email from people like, hey, there's a file missing from your zip file. Well, okay, it's not a file missing with the zip file. The issue is you have to extract the files first. So if we actually go over here back to our download, and instead of going in and open it, if we click this compressed tools folder and hit the extract all button, then if we extract them, now this looks almost identical to it. In fact, did it leave the other folder open? Yes, it did. So this one, it's my PC, downloads, then TRM, BAS, 820, and a bunch of numbers behind it, dot zip. And what it's extracted is the exact same thing, except for it's not a dot zip now, because they're extracted files. And if we go in it, and then we open that file, then, all right, first we're going to get the warning that you should only open projects from trustworthy sources. Hopefully you feel I'm trustworthy, and you'll click OK. And voila, our program opens just fine. So the issue is with the Connected Components Workbench software, you can't open a zip file. You do have to extract it first. And once you know that, it's no problem to extract it. But when you're learning and you get that error and really it looks like, oh, somebody left a file out of the zip file, then you're not going to know what to do. So I'm going to show you now how to fix it when you're sharing files with people. Now, unfortunately, this method is going to require that I export the project each time that I make an update, and I'm going to have to remember to do that. So it kind of, I kind of don't like this solution because, you know, it's not the files I'm actually working with that I'm sharing with you. So if you have a better solution, I'd love to hear it. But this is probably what I'm going to start doing with the Connected Components Workbench samples is we're going to go to File, and then we're going to export the project. And then I'll just leave it at the default folder, and we're just going to call this our Micro 820 export. 
All right, it says the project has been exported to, and there's the location. Now let's go look at this location and see what it all put out. So let's just highlight the portion except the file name, and then we'll right click, copy it. Now let's go to explore. And up here in this address bar, which works just the same as your Chrome or your typical web browser address bar, we can paste that in. And there, there's the file location. And we see now we have one file to share. So this is the file that I'll probably use for my sample programs in the future. Now, when you get that program, we'll go ahead and close all this out. then you can go to file and import project. And now we can import that file that we just exported. So what it's done, it's actually bundled up all those files, kind of like a zip file would, and then it's extracted it again. So if we highlight this path that's in our output bar here, where it says that it had been imported to, we'll copy it. And we go back to our Windows Explorer and we paste it in. Then we're going to see all those files that we started with. So this seems to be the most reliable way to share files when you're emailing or over the internet. As I said, I don't like that extra step, mainly because I get the feeling I'm going to forget. So I'm going to make some change in one of the sample programs, and then I'm going to forget to do that export option. But that seems to solve the problems with these errors popping up. So if you have a better solution, please feel free to put it down in the comments. Till next time. Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Hey, thanks for finding our channel. Here's a playlist with some similar videos. And YouTube thinks you'll like this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. And if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.